Okay, hello, and welcome to another episode of Adventures Arcade Assault. I'm still not 100% certain on the name. And in today's episode, we're going to be playing the original Tekken. And, uh, well, first things first, I need to set up just... So we go from easy, medium, hard, very hard, ultra hard. We had how Tekken, how Tekken 1 had five difficulty settings, and then Tekken, one, uh, then Tekken 2 and 3 only had three. But that's fine. So, just to double check, just to double check. Okay, yes, I am on ultra hard mode. So, we have a very limited roster of characters. We can play Yoshimitsu, Mine, Law, Kazuya, Paul, Jack, King, or Michelle. And, well, all of these characters would then become, you know, just the staples of the series. Well, Jack gets kind of shuffled about each game. And King is, like, King is a different person after Tekken 2. Because I think King, I think this King gets killed by Uga, like between Tekken 2 and Tekken 3. It, and after Tekken 2, Michelle basically just gets completely replaced by Julia. But otherwise, uh, yeah, these characters pretty much are always here. And I'm going to be totally honest, this is not the first time I'm playing Tekken 1 today. And honestly, I'm really wishing that I'd recorded the first time I played it today. Because I basically did a playthrough just to see, you know, I did a playthrough basically to go, yeah, uh, how how long can this go, like, how far can I get before I rage quit because this game is really old. And uh, it turns out I ended up beating the game on, a, I think it's like 11 or 12 continues. So I'm hoping that I can, you know, at least somewhat emulate that. Because, well, uh, I'll be totally honest, I've never really played a whole lot of Tekken 1, and uh, it's one of those games, it's a fighting game that very, very clearly and very quickly shows its age. Like, if I pause the game, I don't have a command list or anything. So it's basically like, hey, do you know combos? Uh, if no, uh, better figure them out. So basically, I'm going to be relying on like the same two or three combos for probably the entire game, and also just like trying to punish up, like just trying to like land a couple of basic hits here and there, and just like back dash. But uh, hopefully, I can get through without too many issues. Uh, because this game, actually, Tekken One is one of like it is one of the earliest 3D fighters. It came out. I don't know how long after Virtua Fight it. But like, it was definitely, like, Tekken on the PS1 was definitely a big deal, well, especially as a launch title, because, well, yeah, uh, this was a launch title for the PS1, well, for the original PlayStation, more accurately, because technically the PS1 and the PlayStation are different things, but whatever. So yeah, this game came out in 1994 in arcades, and I think the home port might have been I think the home port was like late 1994, early 1995, I've, and uh, yeah, so I'm just hoping I can get through this without too many issues. So, uh, well, we're on stage 3 out of 10, I think, without any, actually there might be 9 stages without any loss yet, and a perfect is very nice. So we've beaten King, Paul, and Yoshimitsu. Uh, the last time, well, when I played this earlier today, if it, I got up to Michelle before losing, so uh, hopefully that isn't going to repeat itself here. But yeah, I'm basically just going to try to use the same combo for the entire game, and hopefully the AI doesn't learn. <laughs> because this game, since it's the first one, uh, it also has one of those things where, like, you know when you play an older game in a series, and it's just like, oh, this mechanic isn't here, or you play it in or specifically in a fighting game. Oh, they don't have this move yet. Uh, Law does not have a lot of his, like, signature moves yet. Like, if he has his flip kick, I don't know how to do it. As opposed to how it is in, like, all the later ones, where it's just like, oh, I pressed up four. Well, I guess it's, like, hold diagonal. I always do it as, like, a jumping forward one. Because that's... I don't know, I think... I... <laughs> I now just got completely comboed by that there. Yeah, I shouldn't just rely on the one combo there. But yeah, I'm probably gonna... Okay, yeah. So let us continue with number one. 
and we can just switch characters if we need to. So, I will, like, when I lose, I will switch characters every now and then, just, like, show off a bit more of the roster. Obviously, the, like, the characters as they are in this game, they change quite a bit. Like, even, like, even just by Tekken 2, because by Tekken 2, they get a ton of new moves and everything. But, uh, hopefully I can get through the best without too many continues. Because, I'll be, be honest, Tekken 1 is a game that I remember, like, I remember really, like, I remember seeing Tekken 1 on a stall when I was, like, I was probably, like, 8. And thinking, oh, I, well, I really like Tekken 3. You know, I have Tekken Tag Tournament, and I think I had Tekken 4 at the time. So I figured, you know what, I'd like to try playing the original one. I hated it. I could not stand it. It was a miserable experience. And it's just like, why is this game so slow? Why is it so ugly? It's like, oh, this game came out 10 years ago. Oh, and it was like the first one of its kind. And, but, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll ramble on a bit more about Tekken 1 and, and my general thoughts and feelings on it when I'm eventually done here. Oh no. Oh no. Nelly had it. Wait, do I have a do I have like a multi-hitting move that hits low? Also, this game has like the moon jumping. And also uh, Yoshimitsu doesn't have his uh like, he doesn't have like the handspring move yet, I don't think. But hey, we managed to beat Michelle on what, two continues? Oh, might have just been one actually. Either way I'll keep count either way I'll have a count in the bottom of the screen. In unless well, I'll have, a, I'll have a count somewhere on screen once that, and uh, that'll just go up as I lose more and more. Because uh, spoiler alert, it is not going to stay at one. I can tell you that for free. I will also say that I do quite like how, how uh, well, I kind of like and kind of dislike how no one in this game has like their own stage. It's like yeah, you just fight them wherever, and also this uh, <laughs> this one knee is a. Uh, Kind of being my go-to move. I don't really know why. Maybe it's just... I mean, it's probably because it's like a single hit that does decent damage and I can quickly just backdash out of it. Because, uh, you know. Because if it comes down to it, I may just timer scam. I don't like to timer scam in fighting games. But, uh, you know what? Sometimes you need... Sometimes you do what you need to do to get the win, you know? Okay, so, fun fact, um, the place names, so the place names being where they are, is how I actually know what <laughs> a good few of these places are. Like, I did not know that Angkor, that Angkor Wat, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, obviously, but, uh, I didn't know, like, this was the first, like, I didn't know it was a thing, like, like, if I, like genuinely, I did not know it was a real place. At first, I genuinely thought it was a place made up for this game. Also, I love how this stage is just a baseball stadium. And that, like, that throw always seems kind of funny to me, because it just seems like such a, it always just seems like such an effortless throw. Just like, a, eh, yeah, sure, we're, do we're doing this throw, I suppose. Also, <laughs> I, I got low kicked to death, okay. Either way, I'm on what, stage 7? I'm on stage 7 with like, what, 2 continues used? Also, I don't know how the sub-bosses in this game work. I don't know if it's like, randomly determined, or if it's dependent on who you're playing as when you get to their stage. Like, I know how it works in Tekken 2, because in Tekken 2 it's definitely by character. But I don't really know how it works in this one. But I know, like, I know who has who. Who has their, like, intermediary, uh, not, not as their intermediary, uh, as their sub-boss. Like, Yoshimitsu has Kunimitsu. Don, uh, Yoshimitsu has Kunimitsu. Uh, Nina has Anna. Paul has Kuma, I think. Uh, Kazuya, I think, has Lee. Uh, Michelle has Ganryu. Uh, King has Ama King. Actually, I can, I can quickly just run through them. So, Yoshimitsu has Konamitsu, Nina has Anna, Law has Wang, Kazuya, I think... I think he has Lee, Paul definitely has Kuma, Jack has pro has the Jack prototype, King has Ama King, and Michelle has Ganryu. And I'm gonna swap back to playing Law. 
Okay, so I think I'm on. I think I'm on two continues now, and I, I just. You know what? I can't even. I can't even complain. <laughs> yeah, I can't even complain. I absolutely, just completely messed that up. But yeah, Law doesn't even have like Dragon Tail. His like whip, like his kind of like, his kind of like low hitting spin move thing. It's hot. It's really hard to describe actually. Learning. And. Also, 10 out of 10, I still love that throw. That is up there for my favorite throws in fighting games. It is genuinely just one of my absolute favorites. Like, in every in every game, like in every fighting game, in every Tekken, I just I just love that throw. It's so cool. Like, and we immediately got hit with the electric. Great. Also, uh This is going this is going horrendously badly. So, uh, when I played earlier, I beat Kazuya on, I think it was the second try. Uh, this time I think we're on attempt 4 against him already. Like, when I played this earlier, I think I, like, I was playing as Law mostly, and I think I did, I think I was on, like, 4 losses by the time, I think I was on, like, 3 or 4 losses when I got to Wang, and then I lost to him, like, 8 times. And then I beat, then I managed to somehow beat Heihachi first try. So, uh... Don't know how I managed that one. Also, you may notice that in this game, if you get knocked down, you are down for a while. So uh, that's not exactly the most ideal your situation. But I, I know, and that might just kill. No. Okay, we are about to get perfected. No, you went for the rise. Yep. Yep. I should have. I should have known you would go for the spin. Okay. Uh, let's try. Let's try playing Jack. I don't know why, but let's try it anyway. I, one thing I will say that I've always liked about Jack as a character is I just like I just like his sounds. I think they sound funny. Like they just <laughs> like they are just good sounds. Like they are just good fighting game sounds. Also, like yeah, he was just down. <laughs> I mean, I guess that makes sense because if I had. What is assumably like what? If I had like a rather large robot just like fall on top of me, I definitely wouldn't be getting up. I wouldn't be getting up in a hurry. I mean, that's for certain. And also, uh, yeah. So in like in every other Tekken game, in Actor Two, <laughs> I don't my I. I, just spamming this one jump kick always seems to work. I never trust doing it in Tekken 3. Sorry, in Tekken 2. Sorry, in Tekken 1. <laughs> Don't know how I managed to mess that up so many times in a row. Oh, probably because at first... Wait, I'm fighting Wang this time? Is it the first time through you always fight Wang? Or is it because I started... Maybe it's because I started at arcade mode as lol. I don't know. Either way, we have to fight Wang. And, and this is the second to last stage. And we just got absolutely... We just got absolutely messed around there. Okay, let's, uh... Nope. Okay, that didn't do too much damage. Also, uh, I'm not gonna lie, Monument Valley is a kind of very ominous stage in this game. Like, I mean, it's mostly just because it's, you know, the desert and it's music. Like, it's music definitely has a certain vibe to it. And I'm also now realizing that there are a couple, like, there are two main stages I remember in this game, and I haven't actually, and I haven't actually played on either of them in this, this run yet. Uh, there's the Szechuan stage, and Fiji, and I haven't encountered, and we haven't had a match on either of those yet. So I assume so the fight with Heihachi will more than likely be on one of those. Because for some reason Heihachi does not have his own boss theme, and he does not have his own stage. But then again, an ad now. Also, uh, as you may have noticed on the main menu, there was just like versus mode. Like it was just the options mode. It was just the options, arcade mode, and versus mode. This is basically just a straight arcade mode. Okay, so, final stage, Heihachi Mishime. And we get to fight him in Greece. Also, uh, weird, weird little fact. 
I don't know why, but in this game, for some reason, Heihachi uses some of, like, Jack's... Like, he uses a lot of Jack's sounds, and I don't know why. And I have thrown this round. Wow. <laughs> you know what? I can't... Like, I can't even be mad that I can be very disappointed in myself for managing to throw that round away. Yeah, I... Yeah, uh, I think we're losing this one. <laughs> so, uh, no first... So, yeah, no first time win against Heihachi this time. Uh, let's, tr let's try swapping to Kazuya, and what is that Heihachi port route? Okay. Actually, is Kazuya... Is Heihachi even unlockable in this game? I imagine he is. I imagine he's probably just, like, beat the game with everyone. Um, but, like, I don't know. Oh. Like, I've never actually played Tekken 1 enough to unlock him if he is playable. Like, I have no doubt that he will be. But, like, I don't know how to get him. But it sounds to reason that it's probably just beat the game with everyone else. That's, that was typically how unlocking a final boss tended to work. And I am just getting destroyed here. Also, uh, one thing I should probably know is Paul may be the most disrespected character in Tekken. Because it's like, he's basically the joke character now. But like, in Tekken 1, he is actually supposed to be Kazuya's rival. Like, he is genuinely supposed to be a rival to Kazuya. But, uh, evidently, his role in the story has gotten very much diminished and pushed to, a uh, more comedy later on. And, you know what, even if I got hit there, I still would have, like, hit him in the head. And, and yeah, I'm losing this one again. I'll be totally honest, uh, cause, like, I like Kazuya and like, all the late attackings. I'm really bad as him in this one. <laughs> Other than again, I'm not good as anyone in this one. <laughs> and, uh, I feel like that may be very evident and showing, but at the same time, Kazuya's ending in this game is really funny. So, uh, you know, I can probably just, like, edit it in. Okay. I'm just gonna go back to Law, cause I feel like I feel like I have the best chance of beating him with lol. And I immediately get it. Great. Okay, that's another punish. I just need to beat him a whiff again. And I went for a throw for no real reason there, and I'm now throwing the round. Yeah, um... <laughs> yeah, that happened. Okay, let's... I should have blocked. I, should, I shouldn't have crouched. I should have just went for the block. Either way, I think this is still going faster than it did earlier today. I think I think when I did it earlier, I ended on like 17 minutes total in-game. Like the in-game timer. So uh, I'll call this a success. As, so uh, yeah, this is looking... This is looking pretty okay for me right now. I say that as I immediately whiff if I move and just lose the round. <laughs> like, I'm, I don't know, like... I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick with law. I can do this. I'm gonna stick with law and his none of the combos that I use in late attacking. It's like he doesn't have have his like punch combo that hits them up into the air. He doesn't have his like cool spinning back kick or like his cool like front kick. <laughs> Basically, uh, yeah, law has like none of the moves that moves that I I'm very used to using in this one. I think he, like, he, I know he starts to get them in Tekken 2, then I think, I think they just come in more and more as the game goes on. But hey, I took A round, so that's good. I still don't know why he makes the jack sounds, but whatever. Okay, we got, we got a hit in. We got another hit in. Okay, I'm one combo away from victory. Like, all I need to do is get one more combo in, and I win. Okay. That should do it. No. One more hit. There we go. Ten out of ten, we've successfully defeated Heihachi Mishima. The evil is defeated. Although, realistically, I mean, Heihachi and Kazuya are both pretty bad. But hey, we can see Law's ending now with, you know, glorious, like, 1994 CG.
I should have looked up a command list. <laughs> I should have just looked up a command list before I played, because I'm certain he can do the flip kick in this game. I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> but hey, with that, we've managed to finish Tekken 1 in, honestly, nowhere near as much time as I expected it to take. Like, I fully expected this to be, like, an hour-long ordeal. But no, according to the, according to the recording thing, well, it's like 21 minutes, including like the opening, opening cutscene and the ending. So uh, yeah, with that, we can now uh, like have the thing of just like, who did I lose to and how many times did I lose to them? To them. I believe Kazuya definitely kind of ran away with winning in that on that front. And now we can also have where I was uh, on like this comparing to other games and so uh this genuinely nowhere near took nowhere near as long as i expected it to like i expected this to take more uh, i expected it to take more continues on this than i did with soul blade so this was extremely extremely surprising to me but hey i will call that a success and, well, with that, I'm going to end this one off here, because, uh, so yeah, uh, I'm going to end this one off here. Yeah, feel free to click all the, all the buttons, as you do, and I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Okay, thanks for watching. Later. Next time on Branches Arcade Assault.